Hello guys, in this video we'll discuss about array validation in Laravel. As you can see here in my form request, I am validating a user array and here my endpoint, right? And I set the array here, user array validation, first of all, it will be required and array. So let's send it. I receive error that user must be required. So I will set the user, then I will send empty array and now we must fill it right so if i fill it with one two three send it now it works right what if we want to control the size of array we can say directly here size must contain three element right exactly three element so send it it works what if i remove an element it will throw an error it must has three items and if I add four, for example, it will also throw these errors, right? If you want to set the minimum of the size here, minimum, we can say also two and maximum will be three. Back again, send request. The max must be three and I will remove it. Now it works between two and three. If I provide only two, it, it will also work because the minimum is two. And also, if I remove this one here, I will receive the same error. A normal point here, guys, if we remove this array validation, it will still work. But the message here will be changed. So here we have clear message. User must have at least two items. But after removing array let's see what will happen here it will change to characters because he thought it is a string right so take care while using it for setting meaningful message back again and now it's it again to items so he knows it's an array right also we can set the array keys to be contained for example i will say here it will be array and must has only name and email right back again here send request i received two errors what if i send to here now it must be an array and actually we send an array but also we must send email and name also send again it works what if i remove the name here i received an error and also I received here we must have two elements but what if I add another key more rather than name for example id2 right it must be an array but actually we send an array so if you want to change this message we can say here inside our messages array I prepared it already we can change this message actually users.array for this validation must be an array and contains name and email back again send message actually it must be user not users send the message again and now it's more meaningful right now let's validate the items of array so here in my array i will say user dot index here right must be strings back again send id and also user.id must be string because all elements must be string. What if I want to specify that ID must be integer? We can say here user.id will be int, right? Back and send again. Now I received only one message, right? Set name and set it again. Now it works because it has email and name and it's ignored the user id validation rule right if you want it to be set we can say required back again send and now user id must be required let's move to nested arrays and i will say here users and it will be an array and at least it will has two users at most three users and i will say here for users in user name is required or what if we do the same thing here so we'll say it will be array and it must contain name and email for for each user let's see what will happen to take care 
so here I will say users back and change it again here now it's already changed and we have array of users object first name and I will say Ahmed send it so it must has at least two items for the main validation right send it again here another user name Ali send it now it works right because here if you noticed we also set the array name and email but it didn't work for nested arrays so instead of that we can say here it will be array and also dot email and dot name will be required right back again send post and it throws that email is required right so let's set email here email in email for example and email also now it works right you can also set here email rule back and send now it throws error message right if you want also to change this error message we can do it inside our messages function also for users dot here dot email for example and we can say here invalid email invalid email send it again it receives invalid email and we can also instead of send, sending 0 and 1 we can set 1 to 4 positions we can say here position add here and send again now instead of 0 and 1 it sends 1 and 2 if you want it to set 0 and 1 we can say index right send again now it works with 0 and 1 or 1 and 2 right here's quickly some tips about array validation if you found it useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you next videos